Hi everyone, this is Mios again. Today, this video will talk about how to disassemble and assemble of an air compressor. Marine air compressors are used to start large slow speed and medium speed marine diesel engines and therefore are an integral part of engine room on board. Generally, there are two compressors on board a ship can be more than two depending upon the requirement of the vessel. The two compressors fill up the air reservoirs which should have total capacity such that the engine can start 12 times ahead and astern without replenishment of the reservoirs. This capacity is limited to six times if it's a unidirectional engine. So let's talk about disassembling air compressors the compressors to be isolated both electrically and mechanically and lock out mean at work notice are posted um, we need to put a signage mean at work to prevent accident so that when we are working our co-workers would know if what we are doing or we are at work so we can prevent the accident the oil and cooling water is drained compressors is stripped down removing cylinder head and valves pistons and connecting rod the circlips gadget pane and top end bearing are removed from the piston using proper tools. The piston rings are removed. The parts to be cleaned for survey, but no evidence of wear and damage is removed. The parts are gauge, ring grubs, piston pane diameter, bearing clearances, and the readings are recorded. Safety devices are checked. Hydraulic tester can be used to test the opening pressure of relief bulbs. So next, let's talk about assembling air compressor. Major parts such as piston, liners, bearings to be inspected and renewed if necessary. Piston rings would also be renewed as would the gadget pane and top end bearing. Before fitting new piston rings, but an actual clearances to be checked. Ensure correct tools is used to guide the rings to the cylinder bore. All nuts to be torqued, tightened to correct seating and with new locking devices such as split pins. Suction and discharge valves must be renewed or overhauled. Checking bumping clearances is necessary after a major overhaul. Normal value of bumping clearance for a two-stage main air compressor is about 0.5 mm. Use modern squeezable plastic or lead wire ball for measuring bumping clearance. After fitting cylinder cover, turn flywheel by hand to make sure it is free to turn. Clean or renew crankcase oil suction, filter and refill crankcase with new oil. Renew lobe oil filters and air filters. Open cooling water bulbs and check for leakages. Turn the flywheel continuously by hand to prime the lobe oil pump. Conduct an initial running of compressor in unloaded condition and check motor amperes noise then load the compressors and then check the bearings overheating once everything found satisfactory test the compressors and measure time taken to fill the air bottle from empty to full keep all records and clearances spare parts consumed etc and send to the company. Raise requisitions for necessary spares immediately. Update the work done and running hour 
and Computer Based Planned Maintenance System or PMS. So that's all. Thank you for listening. God bless and stay safe always.